Are you looking to step up your Snapchat game? Well then, you found the right video. Troy here, and in my channel, I often make videos on how to help you, the viewers, out with either your YouTube channels, your Snapchats, how to stay entertained. If you like what you see here, please consider subscribing. Make sure to click the thumbs up button below if you like this as well. If you want to follow me on Snapchat, here's my information. You might want to pause it, take a picture of it, or add my username directly. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+. Google+. Plus. Let's move on to the Snapchat section. <laughs> Who uses Google+, Plus anymore? Let's move into how to up your game with Snapchat. Let's go over a few tips of what we can do. If you saw me earlier before in this intro, you will notice that the record button is triggered, but I'm not actually touching it. Wow. How'd that happen? Well, it's actually pretty simple. What I did is picked up a nifty little remote here off of Amazon. And I actually found this tip from Think Media TV. I will link that in the description below. So check out his videos later. He did a great job of actually introducing this. What I'm glad about is that this really gave me the ability to be super creative with this. I made a few snaps that I've added to my story where I was able to put the camera mounted somewhere and trigger this remotely. Like impression if Spider-Man didn't know you were there. Like I have an example of me and my, my motorcycle when I have the camera on the ground and I did a nice little pull away. I have it where I have my motorcycle being pulled off my dolly. There's just a lot of things you can do. You can capture quite different angles. It really gives you a little bit more flavor and creativity and stimulation to add on to your actual Snapchat videos that you send. So far I find it great that I've got a lot of good feedback. A lot of my friends have been asking me how the heck have you been able to do that? Thinking that I have a friend that just comes along with me and just is just like holding that record button uh, for me, nope, just some simple magic, my friend. So something as simple as just having a remote to trigger the shutter for you and step up your game with Snapchat. Not only are you not holding the phone sometimes too and keeping it not steady and shaky and the, you know, the video quality doesn't look as good. Most of the time I find that I'm actually mounting it somewhere like for the other shots I've done, but it's stationary and it really makes the actual video quality that much better. What else can you do to step up your game? Well, there's actual lens kits you can buy two off Amazon. I got this one cheap, it comes with two lenses. This one's the bigger one, but what this is, is basically it's a wide angle lens. Now, it doesn't look the greatest because you can actually see the ring on the actual camera itself that you can tell that there's a lens on top of it. Now, I actually kind of find that to be good and bad because one, good, it's kind of like making it a new style, like take it to a pro sport level. There's still some cool shots you can get. I tried it earlier, it came out pretty good. On the bad side though, if you want to get rid of that, you kind of have to zoom in. And that doesn't seem that annoying, but, but with Snapchat, what you don't know is you go to set up your shot and especially if you're combining the remote and the lens, it can get a little tricky where you have to set it down, get your shot, you have to zoom in. If your screen locks on your phone, that means it resets everything. So you have to repeat those steps and it repeats that process. Now, that could get a little repetitive sometimes, depending on how far you want to take it. If you want to continue on with doing that, it's just some learning curves right there. That's the price you pay when you want to step up your Snapchats though, you know what I'm saying? Right? There's other small things you can do to step up your game with Snapchat, such as making sure that you have a light source in front of you and that you're holding the camera that's pointing direction you away from the light. Also too, there's some other things like make sure your audio is close enough, like your microphone to your voice. If you're gonna add content to your snaps, you gotta make sure they can hear what you're saying. You can always tell who views your stories too, in case you didn't know by just going into your groups here and clicking on the, the three dots on the side, that'll expand what stories you have posted and it should give you a little eyeball here of a view count. That way you can kind of tell if people are watching and it's always good to gauge that to see if you're growing or not. But remember, if you post it, they will come. That's the wrap up, how to take your Snapchats up to a whole new level. Remember, the most important thing though is to have fun and be creative with this. It really does bring out your creativity and it challenges you to think outside the box. It's something that I just have a lot of fun with. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please again consider subscribing and clicking the like button below. Thanks for watching and happy snapping out there.